Welcome to the video where I wanted to, re to recreate early Edwardian or late Victorian chemise. Chemise was a base garment of every woman since centuries. Thanks to the chemise, also sometimes referred as a shift, uh, wearing a gorset didn't cause any marks on your body. It was a really important garment of your wardrobe. Making a chemise is the first move to a proper costume history making. So please keep in mind that I'm actually just starting with uh, history costumes and I may be not the best at sewing also, but I'm just doing this as fun and it brings me so much joy, so I hope I can share what I like to do with you. This was my mock-up for the chemise and it's maybe not the, <laughs> the most perfect one, but I actually I really like it. I like the deta details here and it kind of is, is inspired by late Victorian or, Ed or Edvardian, Edvardian <laughs> so styles chemise. It was supposed to have um, sleeves, but after I tried it with, without the sleeves, it looked actually much better. So I just rolled with a short sleeved chemise. Now I'm actually measuring how much I want my chemise to be long. Yeah, so here is an, an 80 centimeters. Well, it's a pretty solid amount. I cut all the pieces. My chemise is made out of a rectangle and two gores. Pretty easy construction that I've seen multiple times in doing chemises. Here's my loose try-on. So, as you may saw earlier, I had a lace. And it's like a cotton lace. And I found a side that where it was really cheap, so I'm really grateful, grateful for that. And it's like... Yeah, can you focus? Yes. So it has a holes in it. And focus, please. Yes, <laughs> it's really pretty. And I have, I think I have two meters of it. So I'm really hoping it will be all right. And here also I just got in the mail uh, the tape, cotton light tape. It, it's violet. I'm not gonna just do this right now because it's boring and huh, it's a funny face. But it's actually really, pr really pretty. So I'm gonna actually start working on the actual thing. I started sewing. The first thing that I've done was French seams. These are my favorite ones to do. They're really easy and always look pleasing and tidy. So here's the process and I think it's actually quite nice. I did the course. Thank you. I did the course and I did one mistake but I I I did it. It went okay in the end. Uh yeah, here of course. Uh, all for today because I got my school work to do. And it's already late! Yay! I rolled the ends of the fabric three times and sewed to avoid fabric from fraying. I inserted the lace, first by pinning it.
I added the cotton tape in the lace, as a finishing touch. Other garments were commonly full of laces, but they also could be simpler for a lower class woman.